In this lecture, we're going to look at overview of the standard sales process. So the standard sales process, which is also known as order to cash cycle, which is a common standard process across all the platforms. So that means either you use SAP software or any other ERP software or any other system, the standard order to cash process remains the same in most of the companies. So let's look at the cycle for the order to cash sale. So first step is, uh, the, is that the company receive the order from the customer and the order details are entered into the, into the system. So second step will be after entering the order, uh, the picking process will start. So picking process will involve whether we need to manufacture uh, within the company or whether we need to procure from outside. So that will uh, be the part of the picking process. So picking will complete the, uh, will get it ready for the shipping process basically. Third step will be goods to issue to the customer. So once goods are picked up from the warehouse, it will be goods issue or in other words, it's sent to the customer location. Third step, fourth step will be billing. So after sending the goods, we'll send the invoice or the bill to the customer and our account receivable department then will chase for the payment from the customer. So once the customer pays the amount um, to, the, to our company, the order to cash cycle will finish. So this is the standard six points uh, order to cash cycle. Now from SAP point of view, what we do is uh, just in simple terms, what we do is we start with creating a sales order first and after entering the sales order, we, we start the shipping process. Shipping process involves delivery, creating the delivery document, uh, completing the picking process and then uh, finally goods issue to the customer. And after this is done, then we create the billing document and send the invoice to the customer. So that's basically the st standard sales process from SAP point of view as well. But this involves a lot of other activities that we're going to talk later on. So let's, let's discuss some of the other activities quickly here first, and then we'll talk in details in the other videos later on. Now, as we have seen that the order processing starts with getting the uh, order from the customer and we create the sales order into our system. But this is not only the process, but before that there are some pre-sales activities that can happen before we receive the order from the customer. For example, first we, we engage with the customer and create a contract or probably we can create a scheduling agreement or probably we, we contacted the customer, we created a quotation for them, for example. So after the quotation, we send the quotation to the customer and they're happy to purchase it. Then we create the sales order with reference to either the quotation or contract or agreement. So these are the parts of the sales activities. And after entering the sales order, as a part of the shipping process, there are a lot of other activities that can happen. For example, we need to create the transfer order in the warehouse. We need to start some um, other shipment. For example, if we need to procure the goods from the other plants, from a vendor, or whether we need to manufacture in-house, then we need to procure for the raw materials, etc. So there are a lot of things that again, we'll discuss later on. So that, that's all a part of the shipping or the procurement process. And then final step will be the billing process where we send the billing document to the customer and then the account receivable department will chase with the customer for the payment. Now let us look at these activities quickly uh, in a little bit more detail. So pre-sales activities. So as I said, uh, the sales order processing can start with the one more step first, which is the pre-sales activities. So what is, what is the pre-sales activities? So basically in the pre-sales activities, probably we can send a, a promotional email to the customer, probably we can call them. And if they're happy, they will call us back and they will inquire about the goods that we're promoting or that we're trying to sell. And then next we'll create inquiries into the system or we can also create a quotation into the system. So these are the part of the pre-sales activities. 
so in in our life as well for example we receive sometimes some promotion emails from our bank sometimes from our um, mobile company or sometimes from our real estate company or any other company that they're trying to sell us something so these are the pre-sales activities then we have the second step which is the sales order processing so once the customer place an order with us then we enter the all the details of the what goods we going going to sell to the customer it can be goods it can be a service as well we enter all the delivery dates uh, committed to the customer we enter all the billing information pricing information shipping process etc everything within the sales order entry and then third process will be the procurement so once we receive the order we created the order then the procurement step will start in the procurement department where will they check the availability of the goods that we need to send to the customer and if they there are goods we can directly send to the customer and if we if there are not enough goods not enough stock then the requirements will be sent to the material management uh, team where they will plan the uh, procurement part and the procurement can be either in-house or can be purchased from that from the vendor or the third party uh, person so once so either the goods are ready within the as a part of the in-house production or purchase from outside and once it's ready it will be then sent to the customer which is a part of the fourth fourth step which is shipping so once goods are ready then we create a document called outbound deliveries that i'm going to show you in a minute so we'll create the outbound delivery into the system and then we start next is the picking we start the picking picking can be done uh, without warehouse management or if the company is using the wm module or ewm module then we create the transfer order first as a part of the picking then after picking the packing will happen and once the goods are ready we post the goods issue that means we're sending the goods via the truck or whatever the transport is to the customer so these are the steps and let me show you first um, all these into our SAP system. So here I'm going to show you all these steps using the Fury apps. Again, in the next videos, I will talk more about the different functionality and different uh, screen that you can see and different settings available for the Fury apps and also GUI. But here briefly I show you how we can create a uh, sales order. So here I will click on this sales order group and it will take me to the sales order um, screen uh, applications so here you can see there's an application called manage sales order if i click on it and if i click on go i can filter for my sales order sold to party etc we'll talk later on so here it will show you all the sales order in the system and if i want to create a new order then i can click on this uh, this link create sales order if I click on it it will open me the screen for the sales order here first is and asking me to for a order type if I search for all the order types available so here you can see OR is the standard order type we use so let's select OR and then here organization sales organization I need to select one sales organization at least so I created one called ZZ13 and I'll select this one and I also created a distribution channel if I search for it which is number 10 I'll select 10 for now and division I will select 00, zero. and sales office and sales groups are they are optional we don't need to enter any data here for now so here I will click on continue icon if I click on continue okay so here I need to enter my sold to party number so I can here I can start typing my sold to party and the, my customer name for example I know the, I created a customer already which is known as ABC company or something so if I search for if I type here ABC it will start searching for it and it will say it will show me all the customers starting with ABC or which got ABC so here I created ABC Mart Private Limited so I can select this one I can also there are different ways to search for a customer if I remove it if I click on this search icon here 
it will show me a pop up here different ways I can search for it for example I can say if I say a star show me all the customers starting with a click on find so there's only one customer here for now but again let me close it let me open the search option again if I say search for all the customer if I just say find it's showing me the all the customers here like that so but I can always select the customer which is created for my sales organization so again I'll search like this ABC Mart private limited I'll select this one and the number for the sold to party is one double zero double zero one one then it's asking for the customer reference so customer reference is like the for example customer will send us a purchase order so it's their purchase order but for us it's a sales order so I can enter here anything like purchase order number one two three four for example and then scroll down next we need to enter here is the material that they wish to buy so here I will enter so for example I created a material already here which is known as laptop I search for laptop so if I type in laptop here it will show me all the materials starting with LAP so I just type LAP same thing I show you some other stuff for example if I type hard disk if I say hard disk it will show me all the materials that are having the text as a hard like hardware hard disk etc so for now I will enter laptop one this one and press enter then system is showing me some yellow color face so for example it, here you can see the message enter the order quantity I'll enter the quantity here say for example two pieces enter and then I need to scroll to right it's asking for price if I move this screen Here we need to enter the pricing so here I can enter say for example the price for this laptop is say uh, $499 and then also enter the plant I'll say the shipping plant so shipping plant I can search for it by but I also created a plant here in this system which is ZZ13 so that's the plant link to my material code okay so done so if I now press enter there's no message here is saying item number 10 is okay that means everything is okay if there's any missing information any error system will show you the error message here or whatever the missing data is it will ask for it and then when it's done when it's done you can click on the save button on the bottom right hand side so if I click on it so order is saved so here you can see order number 10 is created has been saved here there's a message here and then if I go back now we have created the first step which is order creation so here you can see your order number 10 is here along with all the orders so here you can see the status of the order is open all others are completed for example so if you want to open this order again you can select this line and click on it and you can display the order again so that's order we just created now go back now second step is we create the delivery document so what we do is a search for the tile group which is um, delivery here you can see this is called outbound delivery creation if I select this so here this application called create delivery for sales order if I select this one Here you can see it's showing me only one document available which is pending for delivery so I can because this is a order number 10 we just created I can select this and then click on create delivery I can also click on the, this line and it will display me the order but for now I'll click on create delivery I'll click on this icon so here you can see saying log created it will create it in the background but you can display the log by clicking on this display log icon if I click on it it will show you the delivery document that is just created so here is the delivery document number 8000008 if I click on it you can display the delivery document 
So as a part of the shipping process, delivery document is created. Second part of the shipping process is we start the picking. Third part of the shipping process is goods issue. For now here you can see all the information copied from the order. I can scroll down and I can see other details like this item number and all that, quantities to, sold to parties, ABC Mart, etc. Here you can see the status is open. Okay, so that's a status open and that's a shipping point we have entered before. And that delivery date is coming from the basically sales order. So how this is delivery date is uh, created by the system that depending on what setting you have done in the system in the material master. We'll talk later on. So if I go back, now we need to do the picking. So I need to search for the application for the picking. So either you can search here or you can also type in here this search box I can search for for example if I search for pick if I just say pick it will show me all the applications starting with pick so pick outbound delivery that's someone I, I need to use so I can I can see just like this one here or I can search from the other screen okay so here we need to enter the delivery document number so I do remember it was 8000008 but if you forget then you can click on this search icon you can search for it here I can enter for example ship what is a ship to party planning goods issue date delivery date etc so I can search for my shipping point ZZ13 I'll select this one and click on go here that's the only one which is pending in the system so I can select this one so I don't need to remember any delivery document number so here it selected that one and then scroll down and you will see your item here so here you need to enter the picking quantity so delivery quantity is 2 picking quantity is 0 so I need to enter how many quantity we're going to send to the customer sometimes what happens is we have probably only one quantity in the stock so we can create one document now and we enter one quantity here as a picking and we'll send another one later on by creating another delivery delivery but for now I'll just pick two of them and press enter so when I press enter here you can see picking status showing you red but when I press enter and save it will show green so if I click on now save So you can see outbound delivery saved. There was a message here. And then here you can click on this one quantity. Here you can see it's now, it's now green. Picking status is green. So picking is done, which is the second part of the shipping. And the third part of the shipping is goods issue. I can go back. Again, I can search for the application for the goods issue. Now how to find the application? How do we know what setting we need to do for the finding the application that we discuss later on in the other videos. So here if I scroll down here there is an application called manage outbound delivery. If I open click on it here you can if I click on this filter icon and here you can see search by the ready to post good issue so there are different option to search for a delivery for example I can search for all the deliveries click on go it will show me all the deliveries in the system so here you can see by status like goods issue status is completed not yet process etc but for now by default it will show you ready to post goods issue click on go so this is the one we just created eight double zero double zero double zero eight so here I can click on this pick icon which is a third step in the sorry if you click on the pick up icon it will show you the picking step again where for example if you want to change the quantity if you have done something accidentally you can change it here so that means you can either pick from here as well or pick from the other application as well okay so for this one if I need to do the post goods issue I will select this one and click on this post goods issue icon so as soon as I click this one that means goods have left the our company warehouse and now they are on their way to the customer so that's what it means so once you goods issue the stock system will reduce the stock from our 
warehouse stock so if i click on post gi it's asking for the date so whatever date you can put so i can click on post gi and then you can see it disappeared from here because the goods issue is now done so go back even if i come back to this one manage outbound delivery if i search for say show me all the documents so you will you'll be able to see the one that we have just created eight zero 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 eight which is completely processed here status c <coughs> so i can go back now the last step here is creating the invoice So here from the screen you can see billing documents. This one, if I click on billing documents. Here we'll create the billing document first. So here if I click on the create billing documents, not the invoice. That's a, the creating invoice is a separate thing which is a part of the account receivable department. So that's the one, if I select this one and click on the create billing. So here you can see all the data in the billing document which is copied from the previous documents like the item number, quantity, etc., price, etc., all the customer information. And here once you are, you are happy with that, you can click on save. So this will complete this will complete the sales cycle. So there is one error here which is saying accounting interface or something which is a account related uh, error so i'll just say okay for now so that's done so system created invoice number nine zero 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 nine so here if i click on the process flow let's see what happens here so here you can see process flow you can see we started with the sales order number 10 then we created the delivery then we created the invoice so that's how the and the document flow you can display here so here also you can if you click and click if i click on the sales order for example i can click on this number 10 which is a sales order number it will jump to the sales order screen from here as well so you don't need to go to that specific application you can jump from one screen to another screen it's taking a while so let me go back So you can jump from here as well, but for some reason it's, th this function is not working. So I'll look at it later on. But if I show you the sales order again, if I search for all the sales order, so there's the number 10 we created. So if I click on it, Here, if I click on this, so here you have, you can see your order that we created. Here, if I click on the display document flow, here you will be able to see all the document flow, same like we have seen before. So here you can see, we started with the sales order, then we created the outbound delivery, then picking, then goods issue, and finally we created the invoice. So that's how the sales order cycle completes. So this is what was just a simple example. And the thing is in this system, I have created uh, my own sale org structure, which is a ZZ13 plant, ZZ13 sales organization, ZZ13 company code, etc. And I'll be showing you in the next video how you can do it yourself in your system from scratch. And you'll be able to then create and practice your own sales cycle. And one more thing is that if you are able to create um, a, a org structure completely from end to end and complete the sales cycle like creating from order to the billing document then you can call yourself as a sap consultant this is what we're going to learn here so you can customize the system with the 
required org structure and you can complete the sales cycle in the system with the transaction you can test you can create and test and make sure there is no error if that's all you can do you can call yourself as SAP SD consultant that's what we're going to learn in this system anyway so here you can see this screen this looks very simple as an order to cash cycle but this is like an ocean one module in SAP is like an ocean and there's in infinite learning within a module okay so there's a lot lot many things to, to look at and learn as well um, that we'll see later on but the thing the main thing I want to talk here is that this ST module is basically interfaced with the other module like it's interfaced with the FI module like we have seen we have created the billing document and system has sent uh, the further information to the account receivable department it's also con uh, connected to the HR module quality management module plant maintenance material management uh, project system production planning and controlling so we'll, we'll talk about these things as well in the later video so that's all about this is just a brief sales cycle demo so we'll we'll learn more in the next videos and thank you very much to watch this video